Hello, everybody. I just wanted to drop a, a quick line to talk about the eclipse coming up on December 4th. A few things. One, someone has asked, you know, various platforms, many people have asked this too, um, you know, is this a good time to set intentions? No, but let me be specific. The issue is that you don't want to set intentions at this new moon, which is what a solar eclipse, solar eclipse is. The problem with setting an intention or doing magic or performing rituals is, as I've used this analogy many times, it's like plugging in a fork into, or a knife, a butter knife, into an outlet to get energy. It's not the way you want to get energy or electricity. So it's a too highly charged moment to have intentions, to work with intentions, to do particular things at the eclipse, meaning the evening of the eclipse uh, because it does happen early in the morning, so it could be the evening of the 3rd going into the 4th, and then maybe up until the morning. I mean, as you get longer into the day, the evening of the 4th going toward the 5th, I think that should be fine. Um, if you want to set intentions, charge your crystals, particular things. Um, I usually like to do that or think about that 24 to 48 hours after the eclipse. Now, some other things. Some other things to keep in mind. One, this is the last eclipse along the Sagittarius and Gemini axis um, for, I think, at least another eight and a half, nine years. So this, these set of eclipses over the last 18 months have basically been about dealing with the circuit of knowledge and understanding, which is what I call the axis of Gemini and Sagittarius with the nodes. And so this is about evaluating, thinking about what we know. And you just have to talk about vaccinations, um, whether you're anti-vax or vax, to kind of like, well, it says right here, I have the information uh, on Google, or I have the data, you know, and it's conflicting and confusing. So a lot of the lessons we've been dealing with is what do we know? How do we understand what we know? The next set of eclipses that will begin, um, that have already begun um, with the November 19th lunar eclipse, is more along the Scorpio and Taurus axis. And that will highlight more the path or what I call the circuit of actualization. And the circuit of actualization isn't just about material actualization, but also relates to what's immaterial, which is the idea of the self, you know, what's inside. So this deals with the concept of self-actualization. So this is going from knowledge and understanding, the idea of what you know, into like, how do you put it into practice? How do you start to embody it? How do you start to incorporate it? Um, how do you absorb it? How do you incarnate it? How do you, um, you know, evolve and allow that to transmute in your consciousness and how you act, how you behave, how you work with things? So that's, you know, long, and how you work with anything like material, money, your thoughts are related to money, your growth internally also related to the material world. So these are the things to consider. I don't want this to be another long video, um, but I just wanted to at least drop you a quick line to talk about eclipses. Again, I want to caution you about doing particular magical workings. I know some people... Say, like, you're just fear-mongering. Why are you doing this? Um, I'm not trying to make people afraid. It's not that you need to be afraid. But as in anything, and with many things in life, you have to know when to chill. And it's not time to do whatever you want. The universe is not your Amazon. I just want you to... Let me say that again in my best French. The universe is not your Amazon. So it's not about just what you want when you want it. Sometimes it's also when you can pull back and reflect. One last thing I will say about what to do on the day, the evening of the eclipse, salt baths are great, being in bodies of water uh, safely. I didn't say for y'all to go in, you know, if you're in some place warm and there's an ocean nearby, I didn't say go in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, but, you know, kind of salt baths, cleansing, these particular things, especially since it's a south node eclipse, this would be a good thing for you to do. All right, that's it. Thank you. Armed with ancestral energy. Thanks to Spiritual Homegirl. Peace out.